Uh, it wouldn't be right if I didn't start off by saying, I'm here to remind you of the thing that you already know. <laughs> that's, that's my job here. I just want to say you are the shining ones. And clothed with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'll say this, that if you sense the love of God and let your love go up unto God, then you hit the bullseye of this epic love saga. Let it be the daily pursuit of everything that God gives to you. I know some of you will go on from here to do massive campaigns. Some of you will go on to stir evangelism and churches all over. Some, there may even be a martyr in our midst. But no matter what the future holds for you, your success is not found in any, any of those things. Your success, as you well know, because I'm here to tell you what you already know, your success is found in your heart looking like a starry-eyed bride at your romantic king Amen. and enjoying him there. You get that, you got it. It's the key, it's the root, it's the springboard of all other things. You know, the kind of people that I believe you're gonna be and that you are even now and will continue to reproduce is a people who say, he is here, what more could I want? A people so content with his presence that they've lost themselves in finding Christ so they no longer compare themselves with other people. A people that have on the inside of them a realization that when the eyes of the soul looking out meet the eyes of God looking in, heaven has begun already on the earth for you. So this is what I want to encourage you guys with, to always remember that the essential Christian message is not behave, but behold. And that the simplicity of Christianity is going to be kept right here by snuggling and not struggling. And that this is the great gospel, that he is a man and not a method. He is a person and not a practice. Now, the one scripture that I'm going to share, and then I'll be, I'll be finished here, and I'll hand the microphone over to someone greater than I, Peter. John 3.31, the scripture says, He who is from above is above all. If this be the heart and the root of our understanding and our disposition in life, then there's nothing that can topple us because he who is from above is above all. This word that's used for above is superior. He who's from above is superior to all. And the word that's used there for all is every person, everything, any person, anything, whatsoever. Jesus is superior to absolutely everything. And if you keep this disposition in your heart, then it doesn't matter, come what may, solitary confinement, whatever, because he who is above, is from above, is above all. That means he's even greater than what can happen to you in this life. You will fly high above no matter what storms come against you if you remember and keep as the key note of your life he who is from above is above all and may we never give the attention that he deserves to things far inferior to him and may he have it all so he is greater than the angels and he's higher than the priests and every knee will bow to his exalted seat there's seven stars in his hands and every crown is at his feet. Complete and perfect are his ways. He's the ancient of days. The earth and the sky flee from his face. He's a person, a taste, a resting place, a refuge for any case. Oh, hasten the day when my faith shall be sight. And because he is bright, the bride's clothes become white. Guys, I'm telling you again that he is brightness extreme. He's a bleeding dream. I'm telling you again that there's a music in his voice. There's a charm in his every feature. He will never be otherwise than all fair. And if we keep this, there's nothing that can touch us. So Charles Spurgeon said a quote, and this will be where I begin to end here. He said that there isn't anything on the earth that excels the smallest measure of things in heaven. And then he said, but there isn't anything in heaven that excels the smallest measure of Jesus. In other words, 
He has set his glory above the heavens. He is now, he was, and he will always be the supreme one above all things. So you have heard him, you have seen him, you have looked at him with your eyes, and you have touched him with your hands. The word of life himself. So here are my parting words to you. Allow him to save you every day. How? By gazing away from yourself and into his beauty. <laughs> and he will melt away your ability to resist him. You know it. You felt it. You've experienced it. We've together experienced this. Just little by little, he just melts you away. And he will cause you to freely surrender the rights of your life. Oh, cling to him. Oh, live by him. Burn for retreat with a jealous desire that violently rejects even the smallest distractions. Be with him. Walk with him. Lay on him. Let him kiss you. Play. Enjoy. <laughs> Be with him in such a way that there's so much happiness in him that there's nothing that can happen to you that can take away the happiness that he is for you. Gladly let other desires die that you may lay a little longer upon him. Abandon your need to understand and suffocate all of that scatteredness with still inward rapt adoration of the King of Kings whose face blinds us to everything else. <laughs> let his presence be more to you than explanations. Let his presence be more to you than understanding. Let his presence be more to you than people. May you never eclipse the presence of God by the presence of others. Remember when I told you the other day, when a lake is still, it, it reflects the image of what's above it. Remember this? So as long as you remain still before the Lord, you reflect effortlessly the image of him who's above you. But if you live ruffled, it'd be very difficult for that image to be seen in your life. So stay still before the Lord. Keep your heart before the Lord. Seek refuge, seek strength, direction, and grace under the, under the divine shadow of this hidden secret place. You may always be abiding, if you will, at Jesus' side. In the secret of his presence, you may every moment hide. What are you saying, Eric? The same thing I've been saying to you guys every day, the thing you already know, it must be a living Christ. Let your life teach the stale and the hollow that apart from him, we can do nothing. Let the gospel trumpet never leave your lips so that you might spread the joy of his kingdom reign from here to there and everywhere. Amen. This is the kind of love that he deserves so cherish his words, each letter, noun, and verb, whispered or unheard, vibrations and tremors, communications that enter the center of your being. Remember his feeding, be tender to his leading. See his heart bleeding to harvest the seeding of his son. Oh, the heeding of the one gospel that made us to live in a life he died to give to his wife. <laughs> Marry him daily. And if that day be, in a moment failure overtake thee, Remember that he's an advocate with the Father, the kind and merciful potter. <laughs> so now unto the King eternal, immortal, invincible, invisible, the only true and wise God, all to him, all for him, all by him, all through him, 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 God's only son, the spirit and the bride say, come. I love you guys.